Ironically, the most vital part of a home's electrical system is the one that normally doesn't carry any current. This is the grounding system. In this section, we'll examine the purpose of the system and see why grounding is so essential. Grounding is the means by which all non-current carrying materials, such as metal junction boxes, are kept at zero volts. If a hot wire comes in contact with a metal box, for example, the ground wire will complete the circuit back to the panel, causing the circuit breaker to trip. This condition is known as a ground fault. If the metal ceiling box in the illustration had not been grounded, then the box would have been at 120 volts, creating a potentially deadly shock hazard for the person removing the lamp holder. Now, in addition to ground fault protection, the grounding system also protects life and property from induced voltages and surges. For example, when lightning strikes overhead utility lines, a high level of induced voltage can accumulate on every metal object within the house, such as appliance frames and metal pipes. Under this condition, the grounding system acts like a drain, providing a path for current to flow directly to earth. The grounding system consists of two parts, including the equipment grounding conductors for ground fault protection and the earth grounding conductors for dissipating induced voltages and surges. Equipment grounds are the bare wires found in the building's solid and stranded non-metallic cables. These wires connect all of the metal boxes, switches, and receptacles in the electrical system to the grounding bus in the service panel. The earth ground conductors include the grounding electrode conductor, or GEC, the grounding electrode, and attaching hardware. 